canvas and uh, then you'll need some paint and I decided to go with blue and white because it reminds me of winter then you'll need some sponges and last some push pins now go ahead and grab your canvas and what we're gonna do is take some blue paint and just go ahead and paint the entire thing blue Don't forget to paint the sides, it's not necessary, but it's definitely prettier that way, so I recommend doing it. When you're done painting the whole thing, go ahead and grab your sponges. I use two different sizes. You can use one size or five sizes, there are so many ways to do this. It's just really up to you, whatever you prefer. Now just dip your sponge in the white paint and start to sponge it onto the canvas. This is the finished product, make sure to let it dry completely. And now you can go ahead and write some notes. This is not only for notes, obviously you can use it for something else, but I mean if you want to spice up your room, I think this is a really pretty way to do it. So the two main things you'll need is a frame and a hot glue gun. Then you'll need some decorations. I used... Okay, I don't really know what it is, but I think this is, you know, for dishes. And then I used some ribbon, yarn and glitter. Now take the photo out of the frame and we're gonna let the white side show up. And then I'm just measuring to make sure this big snowman fits the frame. <laughs> and when I'm done measuring, I'm just cutting it out. Then I'm just gluing the snowman on the paper. Obviously he's too big so we gotta cut him. I decided to use this fabric to spice up our snowman and I only like the edges so I cut four pieces of that. And I glued it right around the snowman. It looks like a frame but it's not. And again, I'm cutting an extra off. If you're wondering where I got this snowflake, then it was also on the dishing thing. And can someone tell me what it's called? Please leave a comment down below, because I don't know, I want to know it. But anyway, I am gluing it on the paper. With the ribbon I spell the word winter, but cut the ribbon in as many pieces as you can and before I glued it on I decided where I wanted to be and when I was happy I grabbed the glue gun and glued it on. That's everything I did for this photo and I did another one with a ranger on it. And I did exactly the same thing, except I spelled brr, 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 okay, <laughs> uh, with a glue gun and I throw some glitter on it and then I took a yarn and glued it around the ranger and that's the finished look for this DIY. This third one is my favorite. You will need a paper, yarn or ribbon, clothespins, hot glue gun and scissors. Take the paper and cut it into three equal pieces. Now what we're gonna do is fold each piece in half. And you wanna fold it again in half. And when you're done with that, you want to cut it in the middle. 
now you should be left with that and then we're gonna cut a heart shape but make sure to cut on the side that is closed and I'm just doing it to every piece and you can do as many as you want you can draw lines around the heart it should be easier to cut that way and I also made some smaller hearts now we're gonna put all the clothespins to the ribbon before we glue the hearts so just do that here I'm cutting the ribbon and making another one overall I made three now we're gonna glue the hearts to the ribbon and you can either put the glue on the heart or the ribbon it doesn't really matter I think the ribbons look so much better with the hearts it was so plain before but then I'm hanging it up on the wall and I think it's so cute to hang it above the bed my friend came over and here we are just deciding what picture we should hang up and I think half of them are of her so yep the last but not least <laughs> thing we're doing is hanging up all the pictures this is the finished look uh, oh wait I'm hanging up the last picture here so this is the finished look and it's so cute and it makes your room look a lot more cozy and it's just it's just prettier and to spice it up even more you can add some Christmas lights you can see it's adorable For the last DIY you'll need two dishes, one smaller one and one bigger one, some glass or candle holder, doesn't matter, just something long, and then gold paint, white paint, paintbrush and hot glue gun. Now take the glass and glue the edges and press it down on the middle of the dish. Take your white paint and paint the entire glass white and I had to paint three coats to cover the red lines and again glue and now press the dish down until it stays in place. The last thing we're doing is painting gold dots and I thought it was prettier to paint with brush and then smudge it out with my finger yep. so I did that with every single dot and I made different sizes so that's everything I did if you're going to make this DIY you can also try to paint before you glue everything together I think it might be a better idea so this is the finished look and when it was completely dry I found some jewelry and nail polishes and it is just so cute. I hope you liked this video. I love you guys and I will see you next Monday. Bye.